సనాహతు సనోనపు సీర్యం కరవాహి నిజస్నాదీతమస్తు విద్యుషావహై శాంతి 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 ఓకే సో ప్లీజ్ రీడ్ ద లాస్ట్ వన్ వర్ష్ ఆఫ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దేన్ మీ సార్ గోయింగ్ యదాహం తదా మోక్ష యదాహం వందనం తదాతి హేళయా కించిత్ మా గృహాణ విముంచమా నెక్స్ట్ ఆల్సో ఈ టూ వర్సెస్ కృతాకృతేదాన్ చేష్టావలోకనాథోప్యూఆ listening to these uh, classes but also are experimenting with it are you getting it is very important just like you go into the uh, um, uh, science class in a science class they tell you if you put two potato to chemical compounds this will be maybe oxygen will come or carbon dioxide will come after giving that class they take you to a practical laboratory where they mix it up and with the boner they do that you know that they collect the gas then try to know the oxygen or not a dying uh, uh, flame from a matchstick then boom it burns because oxygen helps in combustion burning so you see that very clearly now this knowledge about yourself that you think you should also experiment it when he says when you recognize yourself as you are who you are what becomes effortless is ma gruhana na vibunchama there is nobody any struggle either to renounce something or to grab something there is no such emptiness no such pushing pulling desires you are so fulfilled that everything is there excellent nothing is there excellent so have you experimented upon it have you experimented upon what they call sitoshna samadukh sukha dukheshu sama satro mitro vich mitre cha sama the person is same sukha dukha by chance there is some comforting situations arise you don't get lost how do i know you get lost after that incident is over you go on missing it you should be gone now it is over no there is no such missing and by chance there is a dukha something comes up sometimes up on a on a situation comes up not there is a struggle to prevent it no oh, should not have come should not have come. it when thing has already come what is the question of your thinking of not coming so does this type of reaction come inside you satru cha mitre cha considering somebody as an enemy considering somebody as a friend two different people it is just like this just we just in, uh, before come to class one idea came to my head now see this weather today 
Did any one of us organize this weather? Beautiful, eh? Little cloudy, because of the rain, the trees are totally washed. So clearly clean greenery, the green color is reflected. When the sun is shining, the green is just reflecting so beautifully. Little play of sun and shadow, light and shadow, how beautiful it looks. Did you organize, did anybody recognize, organize these things? No. Reactions? The climate is same for all of us. Listen, the climate is, the climate is same for all of us. But reactions? Please see that. Today, I had a plan. I want you to play God. You must be a God, okay? You better be a God. I'm giving you that. <laughs> right. You please play God. You want to play God? Let's play God, okay? Now, you have been given for freedom. You want to play God. So what do you do? You first create a creation, that's this is you. Now you are creating, okay? So what you have created? You have created the whole world of the planet stars, huh? okay? Just, just see that, the planet stars, you have the, again, our familiar mountains. Okay? And then you have created Birds also, animals also, grounds also, you know, so many things, so many things you have created, so many things you have created, the whole, these things you created, you have created, okay? This is the other new one, it's a very beautiful point. I want you to see, feel, you have created this. You also know, nothing has a problem here. It's just a picture. Then you say, simply is there why not creation of dogs and cows and animals and like that, and also create a human body. Just you create a dog's body, monkey's body, all these things, you create also a human body. Just a human body, okay? You create a human body, you create the, all these animals, different types of body, you create, okay? Now, this body, when you have created this, let's observe. Still, this becomes a part of the physical universe. Just part of the it's a living world. Just like living birds are there, living animals are there, living plants and trees are there. It's a living body also is there. No problem, thing. Then, as you, since you have created a living body, now you are creating it. Please understand you are creating your world. When you are creating your world. So it is, now you have created this world. And this body it has got many machines. It has got the sides. Okay? It has the eyes, it has the ear, it has the skin, it has the, you know, all these things. This, this robot has got everything inside it. Not only it has it, but also, because of that, the perceptions are taking place. The perceptions are taking place is, here you are in the mountains, you are in the birds, all these pictures are there, all the, you know, the water body is there. That also the thoughts are being created, which you see. You have created, and here is a machine, it is created. And also, all these things are happening because there is consciousness. If your period is incomplete, this is there, the robot of a human being, with all the sense organs intact, everything is there, through to the perception, thoughts are taking place, there is electricity energy. Okay? Like electricity energy, there is consciousness here, and everything is there. Is there any sense of enjoyment? Is there a sense of being enjoyed, creation being enjoyed? Is there any decision making capacity? Nothing. One thing is missing. What is that you have not given? Huh? What is that you have not given because of which this world can't decide anything? What is that? I see. So now you play God. Now you know why you are doing it. I get it. You have created.
अहंकार What is ahankar? The moment you see that picture now, that ahankar. Suppose I, the God gives you the ahankar. You know what he does? Who are you? He does the most amazing thing. Please see. The moment now, since this is so, the God got that. You know, so what is this? The God creation. These guys, these three animals, they are not improving on the series of parts. I want to enter them. God will do that. So what he did? He said, "Okay, boy, you are an ahankar. I thought you have this. I thought the I." You play with it. You know what is that? You know, like a literally a bull in a chair. Chinese tradition. The bull in a chair is soft. What does it do? It starts identifying everything. It will not only, it not only say, when you go to mountains and things, it will say, I am rich. You know, rich. When you go to this body, it says I am body. When you go to the senses, I say see. Here, you start only of everybody's activity. Thought comes, all the thoughts. I, I am thinking this, I am thinking that. Only that much comes back to this also. I am not just. See that girl? In the absence of it, no disturbance anywhere. Is it clear or not clear? In the absence of it, there is absolutely no disturbance anywhere. Neither there is any. Growth and development. That is why human ego, the amita, is such a blessing. If you know how to handle it, blessing. Don't know what it is, harsh. That is aham garbage one. Aham karomi tiputi. Aham is not a problem. Aham. Aham is not a problem. I. What is that I? The meaning of your I is this. And just a word I. No problem. But ahamkara, when you say ahamkara, ham karo bi, I do. What is I do in this word? It is now literally expanding itself to everything. Okay, listen carefully. How does it get the capacity to expand everything? How does it get the capacity to expand itself to everything? All because of the power of consciousness. Suppose it is not conscious. Think. Suppose it is not conscious. Why this cannot identify with me? I am owned by this boy. The riches have no capacity to say they are owned by me. The body has no capacity to say I am his body. The sense organs have no capacity to say that I am his sense organs. The thoughts have no capacity to say they belong to somebody. Consciousness has no reason to say anything whatsoever. So only I can say. Why? Because this is this alone can say why. Because it is conscious of everything. It is conscious of the world, rich and poor, wealthy, big, big now. Conscious of. Can 
was not. I can bring the half time. And I said, all right. After 15 years, we shall see if you are born in the very age. After 15 years, we shall see whether you are born in the very age. Legs, 
back. But which direction will we go? And sleep. What they shall be? Shall you give this responsibility to consciousness? To self? No, in between the items. That is why, whether you are functioning, you people, whether you are functioning from the standpoint of consciousness being who you are, and you are your eyes to see a sunrise. You are you are being with yourself. Why do you see the sunrise? Why not? Why not see a tree? Why not see a bird? But if you go for the happiness sake, if I see, if I read it, that individual, the Ahankar decides, if I see this, I will be happy, you are happy. That is where the Ahankar creates problem. Because I am neither the non-consciousness, consciousness, I am happiness, I am absolute. Because the same particular consciousness, Atma, the Chaitanya, is suffering, ever existing, immortal. It is bliss. With any moment of bliss, you are with yourself. Whenever you are with yourself, you are blissful. So, whenever when you are with yourself, when I am not with myself, so ever blissful. So, being ever blissful, if you assume the role of the I to direct your thoughts, to direct your sense organs, what's the particular object here and there, you are a free person. Unconscious of yourself, forgetting yourself, which most people do, and they are now using a thought, use conflict as to which thought to be chosen, and after they choose a thought, which one should be seen, should be seen or heard or tested and touched, and which object, that creates a huge confusion for the average person. That is why they are disturbed, disturbed, disturbed. When you are sitting down, Miserably, what does it mean? Who is it to you? Your father, brother, uncle, things, depressed. It is a thing. Right? One thought is after treating you? Or you are taking up my thought. This is for what? I'm thinking things. Self. That is why Tata, uh huh? Tata. But the hour is worse. The Nanam, if the hunger is not there, the Muti. In deep sleep, you are unconsciously enjoyed. But if the Nanam is not there, that's where the duration is. In a sense, you are with yourself. Just because I is not there, you are not free. I is not there, and you are with yourself. Forgetting the Ahamka, forgetting the I is not the liberation. Being yourself is liberation. Forgetting the I thought, resolving the I thought is not liberation. Being with yourself, that is liberation, freedom. Then, should you have idea or not? You will be said, you are a free person, you are with yourself. So you can use the word I. You don't have to use the word I. You are still with Please see how beautiful it is. We really, we have no right to say, I see, I hear, I think, I touch, I smell, I taste, uh -huh. that you are attributing the quality of the sense that comes to yourself. I see. You can see one thing always happening freely, unconscious, I know. And to know, you don't have to say that I know. To think, you don't have to say that I know. Be conscious, you don't have to say, I know. This, what, what you need to exist. Play God. This is play God. Play God and see. What is that thing you play at because of which there is a problem? Then you can see what is the should not have this. Okay? Take care. This is out of the world. Huh? Just out of the world. It's for impossible for me to talk after the, all these things because this just paralyzes. You understand what I'm talking? Please see. It's after this you cannot. You, 
it takes away your right to complain it takes away your right to suffer it takes away your right to be miserable to be frightened or to be excited or anything then it is your choice i feel like i am very happy with myself but i feel like to be frightened okay be frightened why not then you do that to children oh the tiger is coming how do you do that the tiger for the child it is real for you it's a game oh mummy is very afraid you know suppose the child is throwing one holding some ball and trying to throw at you what is it? oh mummy is very afraid mummy is very afraid the child giggles enjoys are you really afraid See these things very, very clear. In this whole arrangement of the creation, your body, your senses, your thoughts, and consciousness, there is absolutely nothing. But the eye is needed in order to organize life. Why? take that statement ha huh? again i am repeating i see but the eyes will not know which direction to look like a car car will take you 100 km per hour where who has to decide not the car you have to decide the driver has to decide body vehicle exactly like that where the body should go where the eyes should look in fact you are a driver within a driver within a driver within a driver within a driver because sometimes you drive your eyes this way drive your ears that way drive your tongue this way how many times you are driving how many things you are driving while eating what are you doing talking also looking also touching also tasting also different things simultaneously please be conscious in your activity as you are talking be conscious you are talking you are also touching touching what not all the time rice 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 after taking a little bit of rice vegetable four five vegetables are there which one you should go decision is taking place four people are talking which one i should listen decision is taking place so many things are there which place i should visit so many trees are there under which tree i will want to sit down decision is taking place Are you getting that point, please? You are continuously driving, but are you a conscious driver? Think for yourself. Are you a conscious driver? Life is beautiful. I thought. enriches it is so nice when you are aware it's a blessing when you are not aware it becomes a curse you don't in fact if at any time you feel your life is a curse a burden a load you are there when there is no sense of pain or pleasure मा गृहाण मा विमुंच देर इज नथिंग टू ग्रैब नथिंग टू अनाउंस इट विल कम द नेक्स्ट नाउ शैल सी दैट ड्यूअलिटीज नो बॉडी कैन एस्केप इन लाइफ द्वंद्व द पेयर्स ऑफ अपोजिट्स नो बॉडी कैन एस्केप इन लाइफ वेदर यू आर वाइज और अदरवाइज यू कैनॉट एस्केप कृते कृता कृते च द्वंद्वानी कदा शांता कश्य टीचर हाविंग टोल्ड गिविंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल नॉलेज देन हेल्प्स यू टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लीव द लाइफ हाउ ब्यूटिफुल हाउ एवर वाइज यू मे बी यू शैल नॉट एस्केप द्वंद्व द फेयर्स ऑफ अपोजिट्स द अपोजिट इंटरप्रिटेशन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ interpretations of every situation 
living, dying. You can say, I'm 60 year old. Huh? When you say you are 60, I'm living, and I'm 60, enjoying the 60th. Also, remember nearer the grave. You can be proud of your uh, age. I'm 80 year old, 90 year old. Yes, beautiful, you should be, but nearer the thing. Because when you talk about it, when you say, I'm rich, you are not poor. Or poorer in relation to a rich, poorer in relation to a richer person, rich in relation to a poorer person. So you are rich or poor? The rain comes, good or bad? Somebody steals something from your house. Is it good or bad? Depends, no? You have a lot of black money. You have gone somewhere, a lot of black money, gold, everything, ready, class, gold, everything in your house. <coughs> you come back, you see that everything is open, taken away. You are very miserable. After two hours, ten SUVs, black SUVs come in, income tax, vigilance raid, department people are landing on in front of your house. And you say, oh, you thought policeman is coming to take charge of your theft, you know. But they suddenly, check, check, jump in up and show their card, their vigilance raid. How do you feel? God gives, God takes. Ah, what acceptance? <laughs> Why? Because what you call as a disaster is very, very nice. You are going to the airport. You did not get the ticket. And right in front of you, other fellow four people comes in, quarter with a suited with one hanger on also, you know. The stepney, the fellow who comes around and does things for you, you are not supposed to do. So he goes there, <laughs> gets the ticket and comes back. And you feel rotten. What an idiot I am. See, these fellows have power, position. They could get the ticket and look at me. I have to come back from the airport. All right. After two hours, you listen, the plane has crashed. How do you feel? How do you feel? God only knows. Where is the God when you are feeling miserable there? Think. I am not... See, you know what his language says? Kada kasya santanima He janaka Is there anybody for whom, whether it is wise, ignorant, forget ignorant, wise, incarnations. Rama. What did he only go through? Always on the swing, huh? in the palace, some people are fanning him. What did Krishna go through? Kasya, Kada, Dandwani, Shantaniva. Nobody shall escape these Dwandva, these dualities of life, pains and pleasures. Why? Interpretations are there. Situations will be same. But same situation will appear comfortable sometimes, uncomfortable sometimes. Today, that boy, you know, what is that boy, you know, what is his name? Satanic verse, that boy, what is his name? Salman Rasdi. Salman Rasdi. Today he has given an interview. What was your most creative time? You know what it has, it has written? When because of the satanic verses, Ayatala gave the fatwa and I could not go anywhere. I had to be in a hiding. For four, five, six, seven years in London, that is the time I have written all the best works. So these fellows pushed him in. <laughs> they pushed him into for the writing. But he goes in there to write more. <laughs> Curse or blessing. But a wise man, everything is a blessing. For an idiot, a blessing also is a curse. Because how these ignorant people behave? What is that? Like a child, while playing, he wants to study. While studying, he wants to play. Some 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, 90 years, 40 years, 30 years old babies also like that. Whatever is there, no, the other side. If you have got the rice, I want chapati. If you have the chapati, I want fried rice. If you have the rice and chapati, Nowadays, vegetables only, it is carb, 
carb is not good, only vegetable. So give him vegetable. The person shall say, what a little sweet. Eh? Yes, don't worry. You are never satisfied and nobody can satisfy you. Why nobody can satisfy you? Because you are never satisfied with yourself. You are a slave of your projections. Whatever the thought comes, you want it. That it is, is not good enough. The dress is then I shall put on. No, the other one. Which one? Which is not. How beautiful. Think. Whatever is not, that is what I want. Hiyo. If that is your principle, think friends. I don't know what to say. It is so simple and so beautiful. If that is your principle, that whatever is not there, you want it. You are, there is no satisfaction in your life. Why don't you look for satisfaction? Why that particular ornament which I don't have? Why that particular food I don't have? Why that particular vehicle I don't have? Why to travel a particular place I don't have? Why don't you look for the satisfaction which I don't have? Because I thought if I get this, I'll be happy. After that, I'll never ask anything. But that is never happening. So where is that happiness? <laughs> then only you are somewhere. Why? Dvandva. These are all statements to be written down like a graffiti around the world. Kada Santaniva. Kasya Kada Santaniva. Is there anybody who can ever walk out of these considerations of opposites? Where you see comfort, somebody sees discomfort. Where you see pain, somebody sees pleasure. In the same day which you consider as a blessing, the same day is a curse. New Year Day. So nice. Some people die drinking. You did not have riches. You had all the people with you. You had the riches. Family is separated. Each one has their own house, own car, own holidays. Everybody is separate. Good or bad? You cannot escape that. When you're a child, you're desperate to grow young. When you're young, you're desperate to go back to childhood. How beautiful. Who shall succeed in satisfying this? Therefore, and who does it? The body doesn't want back its youth. The eyes do not want back its power. The thoughts do not want, want, it, want to be remembered. Consciousness looks on. Sakshi. Nitya saravagata sakshi. Nitya saravagata stanhu achala vayam sanatana stanhu. Achala sakshi. Sakshi Kevala Nirgunascha. Sakshi. Always. Evam Gyantva. Ashtavaka Hejanaka. Evam Gyantva. Having known this, Nirvedat. Bhavatyaga Paro Brati. Nirvedat. Nirveda Mayat. You no more want or do not want. Enough. Because whatever I want, there is some flaw in that. If I don't want it, also wrong. If I want, also is wrong. What to do? Are you getting that point, please? That is where you... Nirveda. Have you not seen people? Those who are really little mature, what do you say? Hey, what do you want? What is there? Yeah. Just bring something. With how are you getting that? How much can I select? Which one can I select? What do you want? What do you have? This. All right. No, 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 you must tell, I want this. You must tell what exactly you want. All right, I want this size diamond. Oh, you are asking for impossible things. Possible things also I am asking you. Can you give me a mango, but this is not the season? Then why are you asking me what do I want? Yes, it's nice of you to say what do I want, because courteous. It is nice of me to say whatever you are, that's enough. What a life! You are nobody's problem, nobody is your problem. You are nobody's problem, and nobody is your problem. Listen friends, you can decide never to be a problem for nobody. But whether others are a problem or not, how do you know? 
when I accept whatever comes, no problem. It will come. Next verse. Whatever comes. Kasyapitata dhanyasya loka chashta avalokanat jivite chha bubuksha cha bubuscha upashamagata Whatever the other person, we will come back to the verse later on, whatever the other person decides to do something for you. You go there, you reach in a place, it happens all the time in life, no, all the time in life. You go there to travel, all the aisle seats, window seats are taken. Now, shall they create another plan for you to go in the aisle seat or window seat? What's the loser? Middle. And permanently miserable for the next four hours of life. Why? I'm in the middle. What is that for? You go to somebody's house, they are all non-vegetarian. Now you don't go there and say, What have you got? You open the freeze, everything that is frozen, bones and sprays, right? But this is one place, there is some cereal. Take the cereal, eat and go. Think, 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 friends. Your families, are they all perfect people? My father, my mother, my husband, my wife, my child, my friend, my son, my daughter, my son-in-law, my daughter-in-law, everybody, Mr. Perfect. Is it so? Don't expect it. Why? You are not Mr. Perfect. You live your life. If you are not a problem to anybody, and that anybody includes yourself, that's the big thing. Are you getting that point? When you are not a problem for anybody, your thoughts are not a problem for you either. So you are not a problem to yourself. You shall accept everybody as they are. But that, that fellow is a rascal. But that should be. Scorpion is there, no? So I keep off. But that fellow is I keep off. But even if he talks, he comes and shouts. He can shout to your ear, whatever your thought. Can somebody get into your thought, into get into your brain? Think. Please. This is inevitable. Since it is so, I know being with myself is one thing which is nirdvandva. There is no dvandva. There is no duality, no diversity, no differences. No divisibility, it is indivisible, non-dual, one absolute existence. There is no dandua. There is no duality whatsoever. Okay. And my being who I am is not dependent upon the dandua, the, the, the dualities of the thoughts, the physical body, the sense organs, sensations. Nothing. We dandua. You cannot escape memories of various kinds. Are you getting that? Memories of various kinds. There will be pleasant memories. There will also be painful memories. Memories, listen, it's not pleasant memories. Ayyo, these are habitual words. How much we try to change. There is no pleasant memories and painful memories. Memories are memories of incidents which were pleasing incidents which were difficult. Are you getting that? The memories are pleasure, pleasant or uh, painful. It's a memory. All thoughts together. Memory. Chittam. One thought reminds you of the pleasing things. Other thought reminds you of the painful thing. That is how you learn life. Suppose you don't have a memory, you will be condemned to repeat it. Are you getting that? Suppose you don't remember, the fire burns, you will push your finger again and again, no? So there is a fire. The moment you look at the fire, the light goes up. Fire. 
the moment the chocolate comes up, chocolate. Two things are there. Both are there. Listen carefully. How do you use it? Differences you cannot escape. Are you getting that? But suppose just because the thought is there, I am a slave of that thought. Uh, that is your trouble. That is not the thought's trouble. Are you getting that? Just because the object is perceived, I must go for the object. That is your trouble, not the object's trouble. You are nirdvandva. There is no duality, no conflict, controversy, no division, nothing. And who I am, who everything is, one and the same. Natural state. You know, you are like a football player. When there is a game going on, how many people are there? Millions of people. Eh? 100,000 capacity stadium. Noise. What decibels? Excitement. Game. Game is over. What happens? Finish. One fellow one day went there. He said, it's so difficult to get the ticket. He said, why so many people? The other fellow says, you should have come for 10 days before. He said, why tickets are available? There is no game. There is no game. So go. Play around. No, I must be there when there is a game and I should get the ticket also. If you can get a ticket, get a ticket. Cannot get so what? In the stadium of consciousness, sometimes football matches going on. Heavy crowd of thoughts. But that is the time I say there should be no thought. And when there is no game, you forget that there is no thought. I don't know what to do, really. And, uh -huh. <laughs> it's so simple, so beautiful. Makes life absolutely fantastic. That is your person he talks about. Kashya Pitata, O son. Huh? He addresses the disciple, Shishya as the Putra, O son, O baby. Kashya Pitanyasya. Loka Chashta Avalokanath, Loka Chashta Avalokanath, by observing the ways of the world, that how, wherever you see pain, there is pleasure hiding in it. Wherever you see pleasure, there is a pain hiding in it. Wherever there is a profit, there is a loss involved in it. There is a fear of loss. Roge, are you getting that? Is, what is Bhagavan? Vartruvari says, so beautiful, is it not? Ruga, Bhoge, Roga Bhayam. You, you are thinking, I am enjoying. Don't worry. Roga. I love sweets. After seven years, I love diabetes. Huh? That time you don't tell nobody. Now, when you are eating sweets, oh, bring, bring. Oh, no problem. I am free. When you are diabetic. Why are you not taking sweets anymore? Bratham. Rogi bhoga bhoge. So am I so Swamiji? Well, you are always uh, changing it. How can you say Rogi bhoga bhayam? Yes. Because when you are in Roga, you enjoy the whole ten days. Why? Nothing to do. <laughs> when you are not, are you getting that? So many things to do. Enjoy. Nothing to do. Enjoy. Loka chashta avalokanath. So, bhoge roga bhayam. Rupe jaraya bhayam. If you are handsome, you are beautiful, you are young, afraid of old age. You are looking at the first grey hair. <gasps> the first wrinkle. The double chin. Oh. You know, everywhere you do it. The stomach. Stomach is starting moving out of you. Right? How do you feel? Ayayo. Rupe. Jaraya. Bhayam. You are young. Handsome. Beautiful. Whatever. Afraid of you. Kule. Chuti. Bhayam. You are in a good family. There is a fear of 
badnam slander scandal oh bad look at this the richest of the rich but look at how he is told but if you don't feel that way that i am big or small it will come now bitte rupalad bhayam you have got money you are afraid of the king he will tax they will take it away sarvam bhuvi bhayanritam nanam bhayanritam drunam vairagyam eva abhayam sarvam it is eight verses are known as the vairagya in fact how to bring in vairagya dispassion in life everything has a fear vairagyam eva abhayam when there is no when there is vairagya dispassion meaning i don't want anything there is no question of you losing anything and that is what is a lokachesta avalokana having seen the ways of the world there is kasyapi tatas he tata kasya dhanyasya there is one blessed one who no more have these things what is that jivite chha that i must live forever jivita ichha i must live forever he knows there is nobody has lived forever they shall not live my body also shall go bubuksha bhog ichha i must enjoy these things i have enjoyed so much i'm so happy with myself i don't want to enjoy anything i have had enough my quota is over plenty so her taste touch the smell whatever i uh, think is enough but have you tasted all the sweets one sweet is like other sweet don't worry have you smelled all the fragrance one is like the other when you watch it, when you get happiness there is no movie happiness chocolate happiness sunrise happiness sunset happiness happiness is same in relation to what it is invoked we name it that way suppose in relation to chocolate it comes a chocolate made me so happy a chocolate will not make you happy you are happy and happy to have chocolate the chocolate removed your unhappiness your misery your projections always same thing that is why bubuksha there is no bhogam ichha bhuktum ichha not there ask yourself this question are you a person like that are you desperate to be alive nothing wrong in me are desiring to live but in case a disease comes comes bubuksha no bhoga ichha bhoga means only with that pleasure i shall be happy is there any such thing in your life bubusha gyatum ichha bodhitum ichha to desire to know i must know more i must know more i must know more listen friends in the absolute your thirst is quenched in the relative you can have it it doesn't make any difference knowing which everything is as well known i know myself everything is as well known there is nothing more for me to know in this universe because yasmin vigyate sarva vidam vigyatam bhavati syat by knowing which everything is as well known consciousness here they are everywhere in what particular name particular form i may not know but the nameless formless content of the universe is myself and that is everything there is nothing more to be known in this universe boditum nicha relative continue why not i am happy with myself who will like to go and see that uh, those animals in somewhere in africa no, why not can you like to go to some alaska there is some nice landscape why not i like to go to one way trip to mars why not you may laugh you know how many people have given name 100000 people more than 100000 people have given names paying 35 40 dollar for registration ha huh? is not free ha huh? for one way trip to mars because they cannot come back <laughs> why for them what enough of this world this planet earth is enough what more is there a marriage which is in not trouble is there a friend who is not treacherous is that a person who is not deceptive in every love there is deception in every gratitude there is corruption in every friendship there is 
ಟ್ರೆಜರಿ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಲೈಫ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆತ್ ಇನ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಫುಡ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ವೇ ಟು ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ವೇ ಟ್ರಿಪ್ ಟು ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ that is why you can see many times people feel very comfortable with the strangers but not with the family his family knows the whole history they shall remind you of what how stupid you are but you feel very comfortable with the strangers because your past is not referred among the strangers also when you suffer you are a very capable person because you have a continuous reference library inside you there <laughs> mobile walking library walking reference library so always suffer always be there think having seen this upasamagata there is kasya dhanyasya there is some rare individual who has no desire whatsoever what they say shastrecha vittecha putrecha that eshanatrayam putre ishana no desire for progeny with me it ends let it end why with me the creation did not begin so with me the creation will not end let it go why my stamp <laughs> putrecha meaning putrecha does not mean only marriage and son i am a top class singer i must leave behind somebody who is singing i am a top class magician i should leave behind somebody who is into magic a fine if some fellows are i am a top shastri so some of the shastra should be there i am top cook some that's a great grand desire works out fantastic doesn't work out excellent why the one who created you made you magician musician shastri cook driver you are not the only one who from who, who learned from the other person there must be many so somebody somewhere will keep it up no 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 but my line is gone no your brother if you look at the uh, dna the dna is continuing you are not the only son of the only father somewhere 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 so everybody everywhere the dna is continued don't worry your mischief shall be continuity there shall have a continuity how is it versus ha ask yourself are you fulfilled na putre cha na vitte cha wealth i should have more more wealth for one satisfaction are you satisfied yes then why the vitte cha for functioning let it come loke cha putre cha na vitte cha na loke cha na different fields of experiences in today's world nobody believes in heavens but mars they will believe right let's go one way to mars one way to hell and heaven i you want to <laughs> but one in mars is yes, no problem today's man doesn't want after death travel he wants before death travels i want to see amazon i want to see african safari i want to see alaska i want to see himalayan mountains i want to see swiss alps oh. have you gone to nearby village and near your village there are other beautiful villages and nice things that's not. why it is not advertised you see so whatever is advertised i want to see how beautiful <laughs> some people are miserable you know that i have not seen taj mahal taj mahal is grieving because you never came and can you see every place in this world loka chesta avalokanat not everybody can see you. even the kings can oh i have not seen buckingham palace has the queen seen my village ask her has the queen seen my village no so he has not seen few things i have not seen few things how does it matter it's not a joke friends living with joneses they have done it i should do i must do 
Really? That they are brilliant? Are you that brilliant? Huh? That you should not ask. Money part of it you should say. Oh, I see. Where from the money came? From the space, huh? Comparison, comparison, stupidity. Why? Who compares? People are not self-sufficient. And a self-sufficient person only compares at a relative world, it is so creative. I'm happy with myself, but I see the person, the way he is drawing something is so nice. Can I pick up that thing? I'm very happy with myself, but the way that person prepares that particular vegetable is so nice. Can I pick up something? So you appreciate and add to the luxury of your life, if you can add anything to absolute happiness. But there is no jealousy. He can do it, I can do it. Why people are going there, people are not coming. You don't enjoy being the flower. You don't enjoy being the fragrance. You want everybody to come and enjoy it. How? If there is fragrance, bees will come. You don't have to worry. Think. You don't have to have wisdom as a reference. Just go get out of this house. You just get out, get out means what? Just go out of this ashram and stand on that, uh, what is that place? In the, uh, on the road and start laughing and looking everywhere. There will be 20 people come around you, shall start looking in it, okay? Then they look at you, they don't see anything. Why are you laughing? Because they also want to laugh. You go and sit down on the gate, get out of this, get out and cry. Everybody will say, go. Oh, go. Because nobody has time to participate in your tears. Your tears are only for you. Your laughter is for everybody. Your unhappiness, if nobody comes, because you are distributing unhappiness, infectious unhappiness. In an infectious misery. Because the moment they come, sir, they, you have to you will start telling your story. How this is not happened, how that is not happened, how she is like that, how he is like that, how I am like that. Now, everybody's cup is full. Who wants to overflow? <laughs> everybody's cup of misery is full. They want little to be taken away. Now to come to humans is a little more addition. Ayo, yo, Vanda. <laughs> so you completely move away. You have no problem. Think, friends, think. That is a love, that is. Kasya, Bhanyasya, having seen these ways of the world, Jivite cha mum all upasamagata, pa, he has no more desire to be, even to be alive, to enjoy something or to know something. Not out of frustration, but out of sheer fulfillment. Therefore, every day is a bonus. Every sensation, bonus. Every pleasure, bonus. Every pain, bonus. Every piece of knowledge, bonus. If it is there, excellent. Not there, amazing. What shall I do to that fellow? <laughs> what can you do? Even God cannot punish. Why? He is one with the God himself, Agnani to Atma Yavimata, wise man is myself. Lord alone is existing. Great. So such a, okay, first one I will live. So Nirveda Bhava Tyaga Aparo Abrati. Therefore, have you seen there are anybody who can escape these dualities and conflicts? Therefore, having known it, Nirveda, Nirveda. Enough. Not out of frustration, fulfillment. Tyaga Paro Bhava, Abrati Bhava. Vratam means agraha. Avrati, no agraha, no desire, no need, no emptiness, no desire out of a need, out of emptiness. Understand? Tyaga Parohava, anything can be given up. Anything can be given up. Why anything can be given up? <laughs> Listen carefully. The things are already given up. Which is yours? Tell me, which is yours? The whole creation. Which is yours? What is yours? 
is already there, will be always there. Body already belongs to the creation. Thoughts, the time, memory, time, it goes lost. One thing you cannot give up is yourself. Other things are already given up. So what is the question of my giving it up? What is the question of my being intolerant to give it up, which is already given up? That is why when you are pushing a thought, it remains. When you are trying to forget, it reminds. When it is self-negating, what is the need to push it? Mahadeva, are you getting that? Okay, having done this, read it down further. Anityam sarva me vedam Tapatraya dushitam Some word is missing here. Asaram nindit asaram ninditam heyam Iti nishchitya shamyati Koso kalo vaya kimba Yatra dvandvani no nrunam Tani upeksha yatha prapta Arti siddhima vapnuyat Anityam sarvame vedam Idam sarvam anityam Idam sarvam Anything that is subject to objectification Idam means this Anything that you can subject to objectification. Remember that picture now. The, the earth, the uh, mountains are idam. The whole creation, idam. Eyes, idam. These are. Thoughts, idam. Even I thought which makes everything as this, this, this. I the subject. Thought is object. So I, eyes are subject. I am an object. Sense organs are objects. The perceived universe also subject to objectification. That I itself, which is the subject in relation to which everything is an object, itself is the object of subject of objectification. You are conscious of the I thought. So even that I thought also is asaram. Just see that picture. Visualize. I hope you do that. Are you getting that point, friends? See. Because in you, see, this is a laboratory, mobile laboratory. Are you experimenting? Continuous experimentation with yourself. Our trouble is, we pick up the ideas to experiment on others. You should have no anger, no hatred, no jealousy. Then your eyes are extra antenna now, how somebody is angry, somebody is hateful, somebody is jealous. Why are you looking at others? When you go for a medical checkup, do you take your husband with you or wife with you or somebody else? A check in. Why? I have come, doctor, I have come for a checkup. Yes, so give him a checkup. Do you do that? I have come for a checkup, I give the dog one checkup. Because me and my dog are on the same. I love my dog. Love me and love my dog, no? So love me and love my dog. So me and my dog are one on the same. So give a check. Me and my husband or me and my friend are intimate, inseparable. Give him a check. I am having stomachache, but give his stomachache check. Do you ever do that? Does anybody do that? No. Then why this checkup for others? Why this checking up for others? You, I don't know when it will get into your skull for some people, understand? Whoever, whatever in life, friends, you want somebody to be free from a particular reaction, you totally be free from it and be.
that way even if the other person doesn't change you are not affected are you getting that point please other person may not change but you shall not be affected that is a huge thing because if you are affected you cannot take a step why people cannot take steps when they are desperate in anger in hatred in jealousy why they lose that objectivity when you completely stand in yourself as you are you take the right step so idam sarvam anityam when you say idam sarvam let not the mouth only speak idam sarvam anityam even thoughts people don't recognize your thought also is anityam classes will come to an end books can be torn off thoughts can be forgotten anityam you can change your thought is like dietitians one day they shall say coffee is very bad for health another uh, article coffee is very good then what do you do chocolate is very bad for health so you give up the chocolate chocolate every day little piece very good for oi oh, oi yo so which what shall you do almond nuts will give you cholesterol the nuts will remove your cholesterol ai hidik yesterday i was reading one nice article you will be surprised the people who do very strenuous exercise very strenuous eh? very strenuous exercise they shall get into arthritis and more difficulties in life very strenuous eh? therefore if you are doing some 20 minutes exercise now don't go to sleep very strenuous eh? very strenuous aerobics those who do that they should have all joint pain everything will happen why study now one study say no anityam eva idam your own thought experiment 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 with yourself do i have that jivite ichha bhuksha bhuksha is there to know leave this as it is so beautiful it ends here doesn't matter sarve medam anityam tapatraya dushitam and everything is affected by tapatraya adhyatmika adi bhautika adi daivika tapa everything is affected tapatraya dushitam adhyatmika there are certain limitations inherent in the object itself a flower it will fade beautiful flower you bring you put it here then what happens you hold it after some time what happens fades away you did not make it fade even if you leave it in the tree also it will fade away because it is adhyatmika like your own body even if you <laughs> don't want to die you shall die and you don't have to kill yourself just leave it it will die dosha it has limitations eyes will lose their capacity everything will lose their capacity adi bhautika dosha also is also part of the bhuta right or wrong this physical body is part of the five elements air fire water earth continuously consuming it in the elemental universe understand in the ocean of the elemental universe this little elemental wave of a body continuously disintegrating falling apart it is growing falling apart then adi daiviga unknown from unknown what will come how do you know listen here what will come how do you know did you enjoy your body yes enjoy childhood youth old age did you enjoy your body yes enjoy the disease you did not bring your body you did not bring your disease listen carefully the death comes with it 
Listen, listen, please. Everything is a blessing in life. When you are born, how many people are there with you? Your friends, how many? Were they responsible for your birth? Nobody. When you are born, nobody was there. Your parents, but you didn't know they are parents. Why you were born to that parents, you will also never know. Then the people who came later on to your life, they were not there to help you in education, getting your job, getting your things. Everything was a blessing. Suppose you got a good education, you got a good job, you got good money, you got a... How did they come? You didn't decide, they all came. Same thing, maybe you meet another person, you got into a business deal, everything collapsed. Why, oh God? You never questioned when you enjoyed everything, why, oh God? So when this happened also, don't ask, why, oh God? Out of it, something else will come which you don't know. Maybe it shall lead you to something. What is this life all, all about? Tapatraya dushitam. What is this all about? You look for it, you look for the truth, you look for yourself. And when you get yourself, how do you feel? Appa, what a blessing it was that I got into that partnership. Had I not got into that marriage, I would not have never learned the lesson of my life. Had I never gone into that business, I would never learned the lesson of my life. God's grace that the death happened, God's grace that this thing happened, because of which today I am aware of myself. And when you are aware of yourself, if after that anything comes, it's always a blessing. Before you are being aware, everything was either a curse or a blessing. But because of certain things, either you are frustrated with the failure, you go for this knowledge. Or you discover the limitation of your success, you go for the knowledge. And once you get it, everything is a blessing. Why? I am happy with myself. So now, by now you are a master, you are a PhD. In what? From what, what will come, I don't know. <laughs> I got best education that is I got in this job. But because of this job, now I am in a big problem. Because I have a big problem in that job, I came across somebody with whom I got this knowledge. Appa, for this knowledge, anything is worth. Finish. Your life is fulfilled. Tapatra Vishnu. Asaram Ninditam Heyamiti Nishchitya Shamyadi. This man, knowing that this idam, Asaram, no substance in it, disappearing, continuously fading away this life. Like Bhagavan, you know, Shankara says no, so nicely. Lakshmi to yataranga bhanga chapala vidyut chalam jivitam. Prosperity to yataranga bhanga chapala. Ayur nasyati pasyatam pratidinam yati kshayam yavanam. Ayur nasyati pasyatam. As you are looking at it, life is ebbing away. Pratidinam yati kshayam yavanam. Every day youth is passing, fading away. Lakshmi toya taranga vanga chapala viddu chalam jivitam. Lakshmi, the prosperity like waves falling apart. Life is uncertain as the rising and falling of the waves. Therefore, asaha. How can I hold on to this? Enough. I'm happy with myself. Having seen it, then enjoy the changing nature of the universe. That is where the real enjoyment begins. Because previously, having not known yourself who you are, you are afraid what will come out of it. If this wealth will go away, if these disasters will come. But now you are permanently settled in yourself. There is no question of coming, going, losing, gaining. You are permanently happy, absolutely settled within yourself. Therefore, these things, let them come and go as they like. <laughs> are you getting that? So beautiful. Asaram. This is sub, no substance. Ninditam. Ninditam. Meaning, uh, something to be... Ninda means... Uh, not condemnable or something like that. It is something on which you cannot depend upon it. 
There is nothing to do prasansa on it. Oh, how much can you sing the glory of death? You can also sing the glory of death, why? Without which life is not enjoyable. Okay, but you see the limitations. Heyam, therefore it can be given up. Iti nishchitya samyati. So when by themselves everything is self-negative, what is the question of my trying to hold on to them? These shall go. Ninda, prasansa, respect, disrespect, mitra, satru, sita, usna, sukha, dukha, jaya, ajaya, victory, defeat, and, and you know enemy, friendship, love, hatred, pain, pleasure, whatever comes in. You know, respect, disrespect, adulation, condemnation, everything shall come to an end. Therefore, Shamyati, Abha, enough of everything. Then he says, Kosu Kalo, Bayaha, Kimba Yatra Dundwani Nanuda, Kosu Kala, Kosu Bayaha, Yatra Nunam, not Dundwani, same thing again and repeats. Yatra, where? Nunam, for the people, is there any Kala and Bayaha? Is there any time? And the stage of physical body, bayasa, childhood, youth or old age, where you can ever escape the duality of what? Being loved and hated, being healthy or diseased, being respected, disrespected, being accepted, rejected, any time it can happen to anybody. Is there any fixed time? It happened to Rama, it will happen to Ramachandra. It happened to Krishna, it will happen to Krishna Swami. If it happens to Indra, it will happen to Indra. Understand? When you look at this, that is what Rama talks about it. When Rama says, I don't want to be the king, you know, Yoga said, I don't want to be the king. He says, Why? He tells Vasishta, Why? It's because. Am I the first king in this universe? There have been kings by listening to whose name the whole earth is trembling. To whom the earth gave way. The nature's principle gives way. Out of whose fear. Such people are there. They are gone. What about me? Kastha mama jivane. What is the question? What is this king seek? One day that will go. After that what? Tell me. Smart boy. He says, it may so happen, the fire can burn down. The fire can, cannot find burn down. Whenever you put the fire, it will always go up. No. It may so happen, the fire may burn upside down. It may so happen, the water can go against gravity. It may so happen, the, ocean, the mountains can float, but happiness in this life is not possible. Frustration. Because, don't know. But in the relative world, you shall never have one fixed, absolute, decisive mode. You reach a stage of happiness. It should never change. Relative world, no. I'm so healthy. Enjoy as long as it lasts or as long as you maintain. But one day it has to go. One thing once achieved shall never lost is yourself because it is never achieved to be lost. That's the only place that is why hold on. This, ever, these things, Vairagyam. <laughs> Tani Upekshya. Therefore, so since there is no such time, have you seen any time or any condition of the body where these dualities are not there? Summer lacks the winter, winter lacks the summer, rain lacks the spring, spring lacks the rain. Ay yo. When you see this, Tani Upekshya, Yatha Praptavarti, Siddhi Matmuya, Yatha Praptavarti, whatever comes in life. Tani Upeksha, completely being independent of these things, no more dependent on those things anymore. Upeksha, 
don't depend completely see the things as they are yatha prapta varti there are whatever comes in life be happy how only if you are happy with yourself then only yatha prapta varti are you getting that point common sense stuff when the books you need read the positive thinking negative thinking the books are what accept whatever comes in life or how <laughs> only when you see yourself as you are the absolute happiness the joy the consciousness the reality who you are mahadev the thought is not needed the perception is not needed the sensation is not needed that's what i am therefore yatha prapta varti what thoughts will come anything what perception any perception what sensation anyone including the uh, kolabi what is that <laughs> the wasp beating me yeah was well, suppose you are walking down the wasp bite you what can you do eh? wasp did the wasp choose four people are going is a first one no second one no this one is the swami he has created this he planted this plant therefore no this fellow cutting my branch boom <laughs> Will the kulvi, will the wasp do that? Anything. Oh, even persons can also destroy you. You know, thief or somebody, they can destroy you. Yes, they can. Because for their personal need, they can do anything. There was a great uh, uh, renunciate, reclusive monk who was living in a nice little cave inside the forest. some day some thieves came to pick up whatever little thing is people are visiting give me something so they came to take everything then they say sir then then came here he is not that there are five bedroom he is sleeping in one bedroom with air conditioning and all closed there is no one cave <laughs> he is sitting there so these people came there they say what do you want he asked them what do you want we have come to take everything we are taking everything he said okay so he stepped out and he they whatever little one utensil these and that whatever they took everything and go this man goes back and looks at the thing and uh, sees they have left one uh, one uh, packet something tied down in a cloth it was in the in between the stone so he takes it away he come 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 he runs after them you left this You left this because I have told you take everything. How can you leave this? Take this and go. Fellows are moved like that. Listen carefully. Suppose somebody is talking. You want to destroy somebody? Think. You want to take away what? Take his wealth, his uh, reputation, his everything. So what do you do? Take everything. Yes, yeah, take everything. Then what do you do? Tell the world. This fellow, see, I saw him taking ten thousand rupees. You know, I saw him taking ten thousand rupees. Then take everything. So far, he has created ten millions of rupees. So far, he had gone to so many things, given so much of charity, looked after the children, looked after his house, looked after everything. Take everything. Then also take ten thousand rupees. Just take it. No, selective. The selective fellow is what. You want to talk about a person? Talk about only one thing or everything? Okay. But Swamiji, I don't know any everything about a person. That is the reason why I am not worried about you. What you talk? Because you know everything about me. You only know you know only one thing. You understand the confidence, the beauty. tan upeksha you don't have to worry about anything whatever comes yatha prapta varti whatever comes in life why if you observe in life you shall see everything has reached you but you make yourself an instrument you be yourself and then as situation comes you learn to handle it without that idea by doing this i shall be happier or more popular or less popular or miserable or less miserable no kartavyam iti 
बुद्धिया करोमि कर्मण्येव अधिकार अस्ति यू गट फुल राइट ओवर योर एक्शन मा फलेषु कदाचन व्हाट विल कम आउट ऑफ इट यू शैल नेवर नो सिंस आई डू नॉट नो व्हाट विल कम आउट ऑफ इट व्हाई शुड आई वर्क माते संगोस्तु अकर्मणि नेवर वी इनएक्टिव बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट एक्ट शरीर यात्रा अपि जन प्रसिद्धि अकर्मणि योर बॉडी इटसेल्फ कैन बी डीड and if you don't act you shall always think i should have done you act what result come doesn't matter act how can you act that way you are fulfilled with yourself i don't have to act narti me kartavyam trishulogi chikinchana there is absolutely nothing to gain or lose in this world varte eva cha karmani i do it why not only for my sake but also for others living in this world. so beautiful okay then read next one namatam ah why i cannot take all these things seriously because namatam maharshina nay nay there is something missing in this book so i mean little mistake maybe no 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 okay ah नानामतम महर्षीना साधुना योगिना तथा दृष्ट्वा निर्वेदमापन्न पुनशाम्यति मानव कृवा मूर्तिपरिज्ञान चैतन्य न कि गुरु निर्वेद समुक्तिया संसुते वेरी हैप्पी यू मेड मिस्टेक हियर आई कम बैक इज अ ब्यूटिफुल कॉमेंट्री एल रीड टू वाई इसे को न साम्यति मानव हे जनक हु इज दर पर्सन हु न साम्यति who doesn't get into that absolute peace with himself so much so that there is no more restless activity for the ignorant man activity gives as much restlessness as when the inactivity understand that ignorant person is restless both way <laughs> when he is acting he is restless when he is not acting also restless why am i not doing anything what am i supposed to do tell me what is like a is like a ghost eh? it must be employed it must be engaged because he is restless he is doing there is no restfulness in life for a wise person shamyadi always restful doing restful not doing rest adina that is the secret That is the secret. Talking very restful, not talking very very restful. Going around very restful, not going around very restful. Ignorant person going around when shall he reach the goal? When he reach it, when shall he start? Ah, <sighs> they will bring restlessness to everybody. that is the trouble they will bring restlessness to everybody because the fellow is restless now he say a person who sees himself and sees the lokachara looking at the loka vyavara na kim na ko na samyadi who doesn't remain peaceful why because nana matam maharshina people call themselves maharshi yogi sadhu ha eh? यानी भक्ता ओ यू अंडरस्टैंड दीज आर दी टाइटल्स गिविंग टू पीपल दे अश्यूम दैट रोल और सम पीपल कॉल देम व्हाट हैपेंस नाना मतम डिफरेंट वेज दे स्पीक इति दृष्टवा हैविंग हर्ड इट हैविंग सीन इट को न साम्य दिवाई व्हिच वन इज राइट एन ऑफ ऑफ एवरी वन ऑफ दिस रबिश साम्य दी वाई आत्मज्ञान that is one thing which remains ever the same whether it is a maharshi sadhu yogi 
jnani, vakta, anything. One thing is truth about, one thing is absolutely same for everybody is the self, the atma jnana, knowledge about one's own self as to who you are. Rest is different. How it is? A very nice commentary. Morning I was looking at it, I said, read it to you. Tarka sastra adishu, tas tarka sastra adi dhyaneshu, nishtha na kartabya, nana vidha viprati pati grastatva. Nana vidha viprati pati grastatva. Because there are so many different types of logics are given out in this Naya, Vaisheshika, different types of granthas, tarka sastras, say don't waste your time on that. Pick up some things, that's why tarka is to be used, not to be obsessed with it. Certain logic you pick up. To establish something, logic doesn't create the reality. Logic helps in establishing certain things, but they don't get lost in the logic. Okay, then, Nabi Karmasu. Not only this logic, Karmasu, Ashtanga Yoga Dishu, Iti Ahana Anamatamiti. Some person can go to the Karma Ganda, completely Karma Ganda. Some people are either Yoga, I am Yoga means what? Asanas. That yoga, the first line of yoga is the last line of yoga. Athat yoga anushasanam, yoga ha, chitta vritti nirodha, tada drashtu sasurvya avasthanam. With these two, yoga sastra is over. When you are with yourself, when the mind is suspended, thoughts are no more bothering, meaning you have contracted it, you know what is your thought is. Tada, that time, drashtu susurupya avasthana, abiding drashtu surupya avasthana, abiding in the nature of the seer, not abiding in the emptiness of the mind. But most people nowadays, if you look at it, oh, I go for swimming, and when I swim, I feel so, wow. So, so every time you have to go to swimming for that. Huh? I must sing this, I must dance this, I must concentrate on this. Swarupa avasthanam, not avasthanam on the emptiness, absence of thought. In a perception, sensation or the absence of it. You, I hope you grasp it. Okay. Iti nanamatam. What? Maharshinam. What is Maharshinam? Gautama, Jaimini, Prabhutinam, Matam, Nana, Vidham, Gautama Rishi, Jaimini Rishi, Dharma Shastra, Sankhya, different types of Shastras are talked about. Parichinnam drushtva, nanabidam parichinnam, they are also limited. Tarka sastra dibhya nirvyadam apanna, tarka sastra also. Anything that doesn't talk about myself, who I am. If other things are talked about, listen carefully, don't dismiss, eh? if other things are talked about, to prepare the mind to be with myself, that's fine. But do not, don't say, quietening the mind is the truth. Doing this karma ritual is truth. Next line it comes. Tatha sadhunam, karma nishthanam, matam nana vidham kechit. Sadhunam, karma nishthanam. Sadhu, many people do different karma, different ritual, different types of practice. I do it morning 9 to 12, I sit under the water, inside the water and do. You must do the same thing. I am going onto the top of the uh, rock and I do the I sit down like a rock for two hours under the sun, four side fire, you do it. I mean, it's good for you, no problem. But ultimately, I am interested in myself. Okay, now he says, Kvachit, Nana Vidham Karmanishthanam, Nana Vidham Kechit, Homa Para, Homa means, Homa means what? Fire rituals. Kechit, Japa Para, some people are interested in Japa. I am giving you a mantra, repeat it for 10 years. I have done it, I have never done it, but you do it for 10 years. Initiation, you know. The fellow never does it, but he goes on initiating. You do this Japa for 10 years. As he knows, in 10 days you will be tired, and after that he cannot come back. Every time he comes back, did you do 10 years? You do this fire ritual. Do you do it? Yes. What is the time for doing fire ritual, especially in this generation? Kechit Homa Para, Kechit Japa Para, Kechit Krutsra Chandrayana Adi Paraha. 
Chandrayana Vratam. Chandrayana Vratam means full moon, 15 handful. 14 day, 14 handful. 13, 13 handful. 7 day, 7 handful. 5 day, 5 handful. Second day, Amavasya, nothing. Then the next day, one handful, two handful. Then 10, then last 15. One circle. Kurukshya Chandra, very difficult. If you do this, Shiva Loka Samapnoti, you will be with the Shiva. Shiva Yena Samapnoti, you shall be with the dancing with Shiva, living with the Vishnu, living with this Mukti. Who said? Nana Vida Shastra, Nana Vida Maharshi, Nana Vida Sadhu, Nana Vida Guru, Nana Vida Yogi. All these are meant for whom? Me. Do I know myself? Most important. If you know that drushtva, nirvedam apanna, enough pa. Happy. But one who needs jalpa, let him do. Yoga, let him do. I have nothing against it. Don't push me into that. Nirvedam apanna, yoga samyati yoga. Manava, kova asana, kona samyati manava. Having seen so many different such things, and it takes away so many different ways. Enough of it. Be with yourself. Having seen it, you can go on adventure. You understand? Adventure is adventure when you know the place to return to. Are you getting that point, please? If you don't know, will you go on an adventure if there is no hope of returning? You know at the end of the day you can come back. Okay, let's go out. Suppose you say, you, you, you get yourself lost, you feel disastrous. But suppose somebody tells you in the beginning, you are going but you may not come back. Will you go? No. You have hope to return to your home, you go. You lose yourself, you condemn yourself. Why did I do this? In ignorance the fellow was peaceful, but not peaceful because condition peace. If this is a uh, house is okay, everything is okay, but that's not the ultimate. Okay, so now you go into an adventure. And you totally lose yourself and the process, the bliss of ignorance is gone. Knowledge never came. You have lost the bliss of ignorance, but you never gained the bliss that is wisdom, the truth yourself. So for you, adventure becomes a disaster. When you know about yourself who you are, focused on yourself completely, you know who you are, then you go on an adventure. Why? Where is your home? Shall you return home or you are carrying your home? <laughs> wherever I am, there is my home. <laughs> Happiness with me, wherever I am going. So happily I can do japa, I can do homa. You must do this uh, fire ritual, why not? You are seeing this, why not? Why everybody is doing it? Oh, let me do it. It's wrong. Go and sit down on this cave. Okay, I was sitting on this cave. No, you must be on the top of the cave. All right, top of the cave. Everything becomes excitement for you. You choose. But then at one time, why do all these things? Choice is yours. Drushtva nirveda mapanna kona sanmeti manav and Kurtva murti parigyanam chaitanya sinakim guroho. Murti parigyanam kurtva. Murti parigyanam. Chaitanya sinakim murti parigyanam kurtva. Having seen the chaitanya surupa, murti means rupa. Chaitanya rupa parigyanatva. By seeing the consciousness as myself, as I am, nakim guruhu. Ah, amazing. Such a person. Will he not be a guru? Why? Nirveda Samata Yutta. He has nothing to achieve, nothing to gain. As effortlessly, he has seen it, that effortlessly, Tarayati Sansrutehe. He helps people to go beyond it. How can he keep quiet? Are you getting that point? When you are effortlessly happy, you shall be the most restless person. Why? Everybody is effortless because your being, your happiness, your being who you are, you are, that is your nature. The trouble is when the person who is troubled by the practices, 
some physical convulsions, rituals of this kind, practices of that kind, the person is completely lost in it. In fact, he needs followers so that he feels comfortable that what he is doing is right. You lose yourself there completely. Whereas here, the person, the, when the person knows about himself and helps others to know about themselves, I told you again and again, when you come to the teacher, you come to the scripture, you don't come here to be creating more and more limiting circles. You don't come here for your wings to be clipped, to fly to freedom. You don't come here to add boundaries to your life or to get out of the boundaries and unbounded absolute consciousness. Kimna Guru Bhavati, such a person, Nirveda Samata Itya, Nirveda, Nirveda Mapanna. There is nothing to do, there is nothing to know anymore. Samata, always same. With, being with that, Sansrutehe Tarayati, aha, such a person, Guru Tarayati, helps everybody to cross this ocean of samsara. Why? Because you are already. Remember that example today, okay? That is a beautiful thing. Be God. You create another human being. I hope you see that. Create another human being. And see where is the trouble. Huh? You think, am I talking nonsense? I know you are not talking. You are not telling that. But think. I was just watching some nice uh, educative program. This mass, you know, the, now the tallest building in the world is Burj Khalifa, which is in the Dubai. Other day I was watching a program, they show you how from the foundation, where from they started, even an American uh, farm built it. What did they do? Long before they put that some 2700, 800 feet height building, they created models. If they create this model, where will be the gap? If it is gap, what will happen? They created the whole model. Where the problems will come? How it will be reflecting, how it will be second by the breeze? How it will reflect too much of light because of the desert climate? So they must have the glasses which will reflect the light away, the heat away. Amazing thing. Now, you create a model of another human being. Show him where is the trouble. Creation, no trouble. Sense organs, sense organs, no trouble. Thoughts, no trouble. Consciousness, no trouble. Very quiet existence. Uh, then who will take care of the body? How to take care of the body? Like a tree? Like an animal? It will be exactly, it will remain, the world will remain as it is. There will be no growth, no exploitation, nothing. Then where is the one? Who creates? If the, in the model as such there is no problem, where the problem comes? You put that eye. Without that it is all quiet. It's like inside the house you put all the toys, everything as it is. Leave one child. Now you observe, hey, don't do that, hey, don't do that, hey. Now why did you put that fellow? He doesn't know. He pulls everything. Yeah, that's what he knows. So in this whole arrangement, this baby is put. Angar is put. Yeah, that is the child. Now, you be the model now. Okay, the whole creation. I am with this. This is meditation. The whole creation. I am this body. This body is there. Bah, he doesn't have any problem. Sense organs in their own self. I see, but I don't decide where to see. Years here, but years don't know what to do. I only know, I am conscious, I am, I know, I know, I know. I don't have to say I know to be knowing. So that is there, thought is there. How long can you sit down like this? As well. Until hunger comes, then you go, go, go. You want to, you know, the leg is stiffened, get up and go. All these things will happen. But even that happens also, it's okay, it's all right. 
then at one time you decide. Okay. Who decides? That is why you have to have an eye. Okay, go. Give a direction to your thoughts, your senses to be upset. But you don't put that fellow to create a trouble. Are you getting that? When you put somebody, you don't create trouble. If somebody comes up by itself, creates a trouble. And you don't know where the anger comes, the anger has become a stranger and a problem. When you use this anger, do you put it for your problem? Are you getting the difference? When you consciously say, I, it is not to create a problem either for yourself or for others. But when it is there, without you knowing how it all came, vicharahina jivana, without inquiry, it is continuing there, then what happens? There is a problem for himself and naturally for everybody else. What a headache. Hayo. Okay. So, who knows this? Kimna Guru Bhavati, Tarayati. Because when you are free, can you see, hear, can you see the sufferings of people? Can you hear the miseries of the people? You cannot. Because, care. Yeah. See this for yourself. Don't be miserable. That is why the teacher with love and affection shall say what? Gade, Odangi, Murkha, Buddha, you know such terms of endearment. You rascal, you rogue, you idiot, you deluded fool. Praibhyam mas. Mahavasya Bhagavan Krishna tells to Arjuna, don't be an eunuch. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't tell Arjuna an eunuch. Eh? Krishna, he left him, or else. But that time was in such a dump. Had he not told him that word, you attacked him with that word, the fellow will not get up. I'll finish up with the story. So, a person who sees this beautiful. One day, a person, he was a murkha, but he wants to be known as Pandit. Like ignorant fellows want to be accepted as wise people. Want to do. So, he wanted to be accepted as a Pandit. But nobody calls him Pandit because he is a Murkha. <laughs> so one day he goes to, goes to Birwal. He says, nobody calls me Pandit. I don't know. I want everybody to come. He says, but we should have some Pandit-like quality. A Pandit, you know what is a Pandit? It's a huge responsibility. Lot of scripture, lot of knowledge of traditions and all. You should have it. Says, that is very, very difficult. He says, then nobody will call me Pandit. He says, no, but I want everybody to call me Pandit. He says, all right. Then he said, okay. And now suppose some people come and they talk some nonsense to you, you tell him. When they, they will call, you know, they will call you, you are a Pandit. And when they call you Pandit, you get very angry. You get very angry. You get very angry. You know, you are not a Pandit. So whenever they call you Pandit, you get very angry. I am not a Pandit. Okay. Then Birbal quietly went and asked his servants and other people, you go and tell him. Paniji. So they all went, went and said, Paniji, I am not a Pandit. Paniji, I am not a Pandit. So five, six people are telling, he said, I am not a Pandit. The more he got angry, now the children knew this fellow is teased by that word Pandit. So wherever he went, people started teaching, Pandit, Pandit. <laughs> now suddenly everybody is calling him Pandit, but the fool doesn't know why they are calling him Pandit. If they, when he is a Pandit, he gets angry. So people want to see him angry, therefore they are calling him Pandit. But this fellow is happy, they are calling him Pandit. Like that. Some people want to be told, I am a wise man. You want to be told as a wise man? So whenever they say wise man, you get also angry. I am not a wise person. Why do you say that wise man? So everybody will call you wise, because you are otherwise. Don't know. It is meaningless to play wise. You cannot play wise. You can play fool if you are wise. If you are a wise man, you are wise and you can play fool. But a foolish man who create playing wise, oh boy. Problem for himself, problem for everybody else. Because you show your freedom to tell people, yes, it doesn't matter. So next time they tell you, say, do something, which matters to you now? Hey, other day it did not matter, how come it mattered today? But that much is your wisdom, what to do? So you get into trouble because you have 
lines, boundaries, limitations, cannot accept everything as it is. One who sees the truth for himself, what is that he cannot take? There is no desire to leave, no desire to enjoy, no desire to know, no desire to gain or lose, to respect it, disrespect it, nothing. Who I am is so blissful, I don't want to be anybody else. Who I am is so wonderful, there is nothing that I can have can add to my existence. Therefore, Shamiti always contented with himself. We shall see more of it. Close your eyes. Please go back and do that. Sit down. Make yourself a model. You are the creator. Creation is there. You have created this body. Senses. Consciousness is there. Nothing is happening. Put one eye. You start remember, identifying not only the things, body, mind, but also consciousness is alone. I am conscious. Confusion begins. See, then use it consciously. Let's do it. What do you to do? So always be with yourself. Right. Take care. We shall sit down.